the pandemic has caused a lot of spinning in your head. But here's the thing, you and only you is in charge of that spin. Stop it and enjoy the ride. For example, in my case, because I've had my fair share of that, um, I was in an accident and I had a fractured pelvic. So walking was very slow and also the recuperation took its own time. And being the impatient person that I am, it was a struggle having to adopt to slowing down and using a can and stuff like that. You then realize that that thing that you always have around and have never thought of or put your thoughts into plays an important role in your life. For me, it's speed and, you know, timekeeping and stuff like that. I am a very punctual person and, like I said, impatient. So when I am punctual and I'm on time and someone is late, a grace period of five minutes is what I will give you. So because of how I always time my day, my events, based on the speed, then, of course, slow walking was not easy for me. On that note, hello, Gera Nubius. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And please do remember, for the ones that are new, please do remember, subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button please help reach the first 50 because i am still new yes i know others are going on about their 20k well i'm asking for 50 so come on people let's do it for those of you who are already subscribers please invite some more people i really appreciate for you sticking around for you believing in what i got and what i have to say so please do remember, subscribe, and leave the comments. Yes, I've had some few questions that I'm yet to answer. And as usual, there's going to be destructive noises behind. So do please bear with me. Yeah, back to today's topic, as I was saying. Yes, have you ever had something that you've always taken for granted, taken away from you? Well, here's the thing. We all have had that due to the coronavirus. We found ourselves suddenly being forced to live and to adopt a certain lifestyle. We are the generation that's always on the go from one thing to the next, no time for ourselves. Right now, we've been forced to have time for ourselves, not just sit and laze around, but the way that everything had to be restructured, we had to slow down. We had to look deep inside so as to adapt, so as to um, do right by ourselves. But with that in mind, we still had hegels to jump over. We still had minor bumps to get over and for some it was huge bumps it was a huge change right um how was that a huge change let's think of our mental space right now for the extroverts how did it make you feel to be locked in to be forced to stay indoors and to operate all your extrovert behaviors in an enclosed space. There is no rushing off to this. There is no running late and that thrill, that buzz of chasing after a bus, chasing after a train, trying to catch the train on time. It was literally abruptly taken away from you. So how did you feel at that time? And there's those of us who are introverts, with that lockdown, how did it feel for you as well? Remember, it's not about being outside that you hate or you avoid, but it's about the space that you accommodate yourself. 
the space and the vibes that you want around you, suddenly they are now being controlled. Everyone is there, everyone is in your space and you have to change the pace you do your things. So get on your beers. My main focus today is our mental space. We all have had, you are not in it alone. We are in this together. So let's pull together to get through this. But that message, it was good, it was positive, it was there to motivate us, to keep us going and trying to adapt the new norm and trying to achieve that balance in the situation that was now thrown into our faces. Now looking at it, it lacks the assurance that, in all honest, the emotions that you're going to be dealing with are yours and yours alone. For most of us, we have voices or we have the others, as others look at that, that are always going on in our head. That, my fellow Nubias, is what I am talking about that roller coaster of emotions that we have to handle on our own in this togetherness. How did it affect you? Well, there's different scenarios I can give you. Others lost their work. Others lost their beloved. Others uh, found themselves in a limbo of, do you have work tomorrow? Do you have work after? The lockdowns and fellow Nubias that hit that hit all our senses in all sorts of ways so the thing I'm trying to point at is what are you saying to yourself during this time what's there to say to yourself during this time well, there's a lot to say to yourself. And this is the time where you can clean up all those things you say to yourself that are negative, those things you say to yourself that are not taking you anywhere. This is an opportunity to do that. So with all that said, yes, there's the good in us being in it together. And also there's a, a good in us having that opportunity to clean our spaces, head spaces, our emotional spaces, the heart. And for others, it's time to get up and start exercising. So the physique is also taken care of during this time. The mental needs to be taken care of. The emotions need to be taken care of. So do listen to your voices. But listen to the positive listen to the good go 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 push that you tell yourself yes it's time to declutter declutter your headspace and prioritize your headspace at this point because all of you either you're working online so which means there's no driving time there is no living the office for lunch so you have those extra hours to do the work on yourself on your mental space not just the mental space people the emotional too and the physique too so here is what i've been going on about on my instagram about the kokoro which is a japanese word it means the unification of motions for the heart for the soul and for the mental so this is the time to embody that make it work make yourself important and good people some of you might be wondering what's there to motivate you well trust me you're important and you're significant and you mean a lot so with all that in mind go on do it and where can you find motivation well, 
by networking with like-minded people or by checking on some people that you know. Every day check on one, check on two people. And in them, because you're doing that, you get to get out of your home and your head for a moment while you're at home. Right? Check on others. And in turn, someone will check on you. And with that, we get to have motivation. We get to tell each other good things, to remind each other nice things and what awaits us out there. So people, also, another thing to think of, find friends who will make sure that you keep to these things that you're trying to change. Someone who will do exercise with you. While they are on their side and you're on your side, you have a face call, whatever, Zoom call, whatever you're using, whereby you can account to that that you promised yourself to do. If it's not exercises or it's eating health, talk while you're preparing the food and exchange menus. And good people, we are gonna get through this together. And the only way to do it together, you need to work on yourself first so that you can be there for the others and so that you can help others. Right or wrong? Is there a right way of doing it? No, who says? Is it a quick change? No, get on your bills. This ain't taking a day or a week. It will take as long as it must. A change is coming for you, for the world. And in you, it's where it starts. And remember, another point I nearly forgot. When you are doing those things that you've promised to do for yourself, set short-term goals. Start there. Learn to be able to achieve those short ones so that you can be ready for the big term goals for the long term goals I must say right so all those things have been affected yeah all those things have been taken away from us yeah all those people have gone we will never see them again that's a huge loss but it starts with us get on your bills it's all there we have it and trust me when I say that you are ready for it. Your emotions are ready for this. And your mental well-being is ready for this. So get out there. Do yourself a favor. And take care of yourself. And declutter. Ooh, declutter? What's decluttering got to do with this? Well, decluttering is long overdue, people. Like I said in the beginning, our lifestyle has made it so that we are on the go, and on the go, and on the go, and on the go. We even eat on the go. We snooze on the go while others are driving maybe to work or from work. So we're doing everything on the go. There is no stopping. But right now, I am saying that it's time to make that change. Declutter. And put yourself in front. Make yourself a priority so that when you are helping others, you are also ready to seek help and to allow yourself to be helped. So get on with you. We will keep talking about our mental space during the quarantine time. Who knows? Maybe we might even have guests to come and talk about this. So yeah. Let's take care of ourselves. Let's prioritize ourselves. There is no harm in putting yourself first because we need you ready and prepared to handle others. Do remember in the error point, you are told, put your mask first so that you can be able to put the mask of the next person you want to help. So in this case, the mask is your mental space. So chills out and peace out, get on up here. Ooh, before I go, Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification button. Thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for keeping on supporting me. And to the new subscribers, welcome to the Get Appointed. 
and signing out is your ghetto new BMS. Say, I love you, take care, and please do stay safe. Wash your hands, keep the distance, and wear your mask. See you on the rebound.